Hey there everyone, how's it going today? Hope you guys are having an awesome day. Thank you for joining me. My name is Andrew, and today we are gonna be playing a game that I have never played before. We are going to play Dyson Sphere Program. Now, I do know a little bit about this uh, game because I have recorded the first episode already. So it is a game that I would consider to be a cross between City Skylines um, in terms of feel and look and as well as Factorio on the factory building automation side of things. Now, I love both of those games. I hope you do too. We are going to be um, basically doing a blind playthrough. So, although I've already recorded the first episode, when I first started playing, it was the very first time I'd even opened the game. So I really have no idea what's going on. Um, I'm going to be doing my best to get through it and understanding what's going on. Obviously, I have some experience um, playing you know simulation games and uh, factory building games already so that'll make it a little bit easier for sure as I have some understanding of what is kind of going on um, but yeah so the goal of the game is to build the Dyson Sphere which is basically a huge power energy generator as far as I understand it and um, yeah I hope you guys are excited let's jump right into some gameplay Got a cool seed, some stars, resource multiplier. Yeah, I mean, I think that seems fine. Uh, I'm just gonna go with the default settings here pretty much. And um, let's uh, start the game off. Looks pretty sweet already. I'm liking the graphics for sure. The music is um, incredibly loud. To the actual universe. You may find it's different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. My advisor is a robot. Literally. Okay, we better not be landing there. That's a sun. Or a star, I guess. It's a star. It's a star. The sun is a star, so yeah. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere Program, Okay. We'll explore this cluster step by step by using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide okay. energy for the center brain to maintain home life, starting from scratch. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, okay, which has cool. necessary resources for initial development. Now please drive the space capsule to the planet. Okay. So we're building the Dyson Sphere program. Okay, that's cool. Um... I don't know what I need to do to uh, navigate. I'm just clicking buttons right now. <laughs> like I said, I've no, I literally have no idea what's going on, okay? So this is my first time even opening the game. Um, so just gonna have some fun here and see how it goes. Um, I assume this is where they wanted me to go since this is now where I'm you are about to reach the facing. Planet. Okay, okay. We're here. We're kind of in orbit. This looks very similar to... Um, Another game that I have called Planetary Annihilation. It's got kind of the same vibe, I feel like. At least the graphics do overall to start. I don't know how things will progress, but it's kind of what it feels like. All right, cool. So it's like a oh, we got like a commander. This is Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. A mecha. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. Oh no, we're definitely clicking. I am I am not manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. Okay. I'm definitely clicking. There's no way that I'm not. All right, come on. Why how does this get rid of that? All right. Uh what do we got here? We got a technology tree, replicator, inventory, mecha panel, statistics panel. Okay, cool. So you got our tech tree here. So first thing that we have to research is electromagnetism, which unlocks wind turbines, Tesla tower, and a mining machine. And it takes magnetic coils. So it looks like we need some kind of ring and copper, like iron ring maybe, and copper plate or something. I don't know. Let's, uh, let's see, gather resource command. Right mouse button to click on the ground, command it, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Also, for a more convenient option, hold on shift to give a series of commands. Okay, cool. All good with that. So we got wood there. Got, like, some iron ore here. Plant fuel. 
Okay, stone. What is this? Iron. Okay, alright, let's grab some iron, I guess. So we got core energy. We have a little bit of um, power gen. Let's see what other stuff is around here. We got copper over there. Can I build anything? Buildings. No. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, ah. which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Okay. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. All right, so we, we want to activate this one to get like the basics, right? So we'll use inventory items to do manual research, I guess, which hopefully we'll just like, I don't know, automatically work. Oh, I see there's, there's stuff down here that'll, okay. Um, so like if I go to inventory, right? Basic operation, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, so that, we, we know how to move. We know how to move. All right, <clears throat> so then the question is simply, how do I... So can I make a copper ingot? Aha. So make some copper ingots? Okay, that's cool. Ah, uh, it's a magnet that we need to make, okay. I guess it makes sense if it's like electromagnetism. Yep, classic. And then I should be able to, oh, I can just probably do this. Four, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this makes two. Okay, that's cool. So I'll need to make one more, right? Okay, nice. So that'll be everything that we need for um, that research. Okay, okay, that's pretty straightforward. That's cool, that's cool. We can also make a gear, a circuit board, stone bricks. Okay, I like this so far. Can't make any buildings yet. Uh, I take that back, now we can. All right, so we want to build a mining machine, vein you coverage. A mining machine to achieve ore collecting automation. Pick it okay. up from the inventory, or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Okay, so you got like a little area. It you looks can like use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. There we go. You want to ignore grid snapping. Try holding down the shift key. Okay. Can we? Well, I already built it. <laughs> All right. Uh, then this is a wind turbine. I don't really know. So, what is this? This is a Tesla tower. One of your production facilities is not powered. You need to keep it within okay, the power we, coverage. Obviously, we got to power it somehow. It with power facilities in order to maintain its normal. Okay, works. so obviously this is our power facility, right? Now, insufficient required items. You can click the replicator button at the bottom right of the screen to open the panel and manually replicate these items. All right. So I want to make turbine. You have established your first power grid. I want to make power another one of these. I think these extend power the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To extend the area of the power grid. Okay. So I just need to mine a little bit of iron first power transmission facility in order to do this. Tesla tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. Okay, so I, I want to make one Tesla tower. It's kind of an interesting way to do this. Um, like a replicator um, thing. I guess it's very similar to Factorio's like um, grid that comes up. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to use Q to pick, to, to pick that. That's funny. That's just... I'm too used to Factorio. Okay. So obviously we can do something like this, maybe. Boom. So this is now working. It's making 107 iron per minute. And um, obviously we can rotate with the middle mouse button, just like most games. Um, now, we have to figure out how to transport it. Not sure how to do that. I'm not sure how to get the actually get the resources from here. Control left mouse button, fast take fill items. Okay, control left mouse button. Uh, 
time I was clicking right. Whoops. I, I know my left from my right, I promise. Okay. Um, now we need a power grid establishment guide. Power facilities, power consumption, storage, and transmission. Yep. Makes sense. Um, okay, cool. I, I think I kind of understand it. Now, we probably need to do like belts or something, right? Like if we look at this, ooh, upgrade research. Okay, we can upgrade our Mac, it looks like. Come on, stop it. Uh, looks like we can upgrade our Mac, do some exploration, different things like that. Very cool. Uh, technologies, are there like belts? I, I want belts. Steel smelting. Ah, logistic system. This is probably what I want. Yes, conveyor belt. Mark one. Sorter. And storage. Nice. All right. So that's what we want to do. And let's see. So if we, we need 10 gears and 10 circuit boards. Okay. So for our replicator, right, we want 10 of these. 10 of these. And 10 of these, nice. I mean, it looks like we have all the resources that we need. Um, I also want to make a another um, one of these. Uh, but we're missing probably copper, I would guess. So let's go grab some. Let's go grab uh, some copper from over here really quickly. And it looks like we're also running out of power. Uh, we have barely any. Um, power generation on our, our mech. So it definitely looks like we want to increase this, increase our um, automation as quickly as possible. Otherwise our mech is going to run out of, like right here, I'm still somehow using power. I don't know how. Oh, cause I'm doing research. Got it. All right. Well, that's kind of annoying and it regens so slowly. Um, I would like to make another building. Produce one of these. Uh, looks like I'm missing circuit boards too. So I need to make two more circuit boards. So let's make one of those as well afterwards. This mining machine um, we are going to put down on this copper here. Energy is required in all mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and uh -huh. resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Ah, okay, so I can resupply fuel. That's you cool. You have received the sorter and the conveyor belt, which can achieve full automation. Okay, look at that. That's, that's cool. So you can even go off grid. Like, you don't have to snap to the grid. can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Cool. Okay, that's cool. So we got some we got some free belts and things. Um, obviously, we're gonna have to. So for this fuel chamber, right? Ah, okay, cool. And I assume that you can get yeah, you can get energy from that as well. Okay, that's cool. At least I'm not gonna be like straight out of luck and just having to wait for it to slowly recharge. Um, I'm gonna have to make some more of these. What does this do? Does this do anything? Nope, nothing. I was hoping that it would like recharge me or something. Um, okay, I'm gonna have to make a bunch of like these Tesla towers, I think, to extend some power. So it only makes one, looks like. So let's just make like 10 of them. Okay, th this is a bit confusing. I don't know exactly how to make this work better. Like I wish that it would let me select the numbers a little bit more easily, but that's okay, I guess. Uh, we can also click on the mech and put some wood in. Oh yeah, the wood definitely is way better. All right, so let's grab some wood. Come on. Yeah, the wood is way better to burn. All right. So 
Let's grab our inventory. Wait. What happened? Oh, now we're making them. Okay. Let's try and extend power and save as much, uh, as many resources as possible by making these as far apart as possible. All right, there we go. So that's gonna be making copper then. Sweet. Um, let's, ooh, soil pile. Wait, what? Interesting. Um, okay, so then let's look at the tech tree. What else do we wanna get to? We wanna get to automatic metallurgy for sure. So this is gonna, Basic assembling process. Yes, yeah, so we probably want this, right? Like, it unlocks an arc smelter and glass, which turns silicon or something like that into glass. Okay, so let's do this. Do I know any campfire songs? Um, not off the top of my head. I'm sorry. No, no campfire songs. Can't help you. Um, okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> That's an achievement right there, one out of a hundred. Okay, let's grab our conveyor belts. We only have 20 of them. When putting a conveyor belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end Ooh, point. you can lift it. In addition, use the up arrow key to lift up one level and use the down arrow key to drop down one level after the conveyor belt is lifted. Okay, okay. Keypad zero so they do that instead of like... Height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't okay. want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Interesting. Okay, so basically they, instead of having underground belts, they have like um, conveyor belt levels, which is similar to, um, what's that other factory game that everybody talks about that I can't remember the name of off the top of my head because I've never played it. Um, that's like first person or whatever. Can't think of it. Okay, let's throw some more fuel in here and get going. Um, all right, we need to make a bunch of belts. Yeah, so let's make like... I don't know. Make a bunch of those. And... What does this do again? Sorting. Transport cargo from conveyor belts into facilities or between facilities. Okay, got it. So, instead of inserters, they use those sorters or whatever. So if I hook this... The sorter is a transportation connector of cargoes between facilities. It will automatically transport them as long as the supply facility and the receiving facility are bridged. Okay, got it. What happened to all my belts? Didn't I have 20 belts? What did I do with them? Did I drop them somewhere? I like picked them up and then like the message came up and then like nothing ever happened. What the heck? What happened to all my belts, man? Oh, there they are. I, I'm blind. I, I was expecting them to be over here, but it like dropped them in a weird spot. Okay. So, all right, that's cool. Okay, so let's start with iron and I don't really know where to put stuff here. I just hit M to go to the map, just so In I can get a better view. Mode, you can hold down the middle mouse button drag, okay. rotate the angle of view, and hold down the right mouse button drag to roll the angle of view. Press N okay. key to point to the front to the north pole. Got it. All right, cool. In the planet view mode, slide the mouse wheel to enter the star map mode. Ooh, the star map mode. All right, that's cool. All right, let's see if we can get some automation going here. So check it out. Let's hook this up to this... Um, factory here. We're gonna go a little ways, not too far. We've got, ooh, we've got bots. That's kind of cool. Okay, okay, we got some bots. All right, and we got some uh, iron ore here. All right, so check it out. Milestone, automation. All right, um, we need, um, let's make Wait, we need to do these this research, right? Uh, not this. We need fabricate. Um, so let's do. Oh, we're missing copper. Okay, let's grab some copper. Do this. 
I really wish the power would not run out so quickly on this Mac. It's kind of annoying. Wait, I don't have to do that. What am I doing? There we go. We got some copper here. All right. Let us make uh, five of these. And then we also need to make missing some iron now. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We're, we're getting there. I'm, un I'm understanding what's going on. This is uh, very cool. I love the graphics overall so far. And um, it like it looks super sweet. And I'm excited to see how this um, automation stuff goes. All right. So I need to make five of these. Or something. I don't know. If we make too many, that's okay. All right. And then as soon as this research is done, we're going to want to um, connect this up to a smelter. And let's see if there are, what other resources can we find around the map? We've got coal here, some stone, crude oil. That's cool. Anything over here? More iron, more iron, more coal, probably another oil there. Okay. And then if we keep zooming out Ooh, we got the star map all right we got our automatic metallurgy which is cool looks like we're on a little moon here which is pretty sweet oh man okay there's a lot to do here all right that's cool that's cool all right so here we are again we've got our uh arc smelter now which is sweet let's see i don't know how to do this You built a smelter. Which yes, I did. Basic I built a smelter. Iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. Okay. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously. Sorters. Okay. Yep. Use sorters and conveyor belts. This one's gonna do iron, obviously. Okay. And so we After need a. selecting the recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe, and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Interesting. So I guess I select it like this, right? No. Iron ore. Wait, that didn't work. How do I pick it up? How do I dismantle facilities? Okay. So let's see how we do this. Power, gathering, logistics, storage, production. Dude, how do I get out of this? Okay. So I got... Not this. I've got my thing, right? Sorters are used transporting from one facility to another. Dude, I'm confused. Okay. Alright. Uh, let's put this back. Let's grab a belt. All right, let's try this again. Uh, sorter, here to here. Aha! Aha! Smelting iron. I'd love to see it. Okay, that's cool. And then this, we'll do another thing here, right? See if we can see what's going on, right? Uh, let's go out the other side, right? Oh, I need to put a belt down. Okay, okay. So let's put a belt right here. Does that work as expected okay cool uh looks like we're maybe low on powers probably should make some more um some more wind turbines uh i don't want to okay so what all is this iron 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 magnet and yeah okay so let's make two of these i guess then we're going to end up doing the exact same thing uh, to copper over there. Also, we, just like in Factorio, we are about to dismantle um, the entire ecosystem, all the trees. You know, you got to get rid of everything. Nothing can be left behind. The factory must grow, even if it's at the cost of the planet. All right, 
Cool. So, let's throw the wood in there. Alright. Now, is this working like I expect it to? Are those iron bars? Yes, they are. Okay, cool. So we got iron bars on a belt. And now, what does this thing make? Can also be used for purification and crystal smelting. Okay, so this is just a smelter. It's not an assembler, like, esque kind of thing, right? So, probably need to do something else for this. Yeah, basic assembly. This is what we want next. So we need to do this. So we need to make 10 gears. Uh, let's see, this makes one gear. So we, we need to make 10 of them. That's 10. We also need to make, um, oops, we also need to make these. We need to make four more of them. Okay, great. So that's gonna be all for that research, which is very nice. Um, and we should be able to do the same process um, over here of making a belt coming coming out of here. Do, do, do. Oh, that's cool. It like realigns it because I was slightly off grid there. It realigns it to the grid, which is nice. Um, all right, we're going to have our smelter here. Uh, let's do it on this side. And then we're going to have one of these coming from here to here. And then here, I need um, belts coming out. Belts coming from here to here. Nice. Okay. Um, I need one of my Tesla towers coming over here. And then I need to set up those wind turbines that I had you created. Have a without recipe set. Please set the recipe you want. After ah, yes. The recipe, you can use the less than key to copy the recipe. All right, we'll put these as close as we can. The next building needs to set the same recipe. Okay, so can I see, like, power? Aha. Generation capacity, demand, and... Okay, cool. So there's a kind of uh, energy thing there, which is good. Dude, can I get rid of this, please? I already kind of got it figured out-ish. Sure, there'll be things that I need in the future. All right, so we're making copper. Nice, we're making copper. We'll probably have to increase production, obviously, which is why I hopefully have created this in such a way that it will be expandable. Let's also make um, a bunch more belts, or at least a couple. Um, I also got one assembling machine, which is good. Now, the real question is, is like, Oh, we probably can do this, can't we? Yeah, we can just grab from the building. All right, so cool. We're already, like, just grabbing from our smelters, basically, like we would in Factorio as well. Right, and this will be expandable, so we'll be able to put, like, another building here. You know, with another belt here. And then, like, I need to... Um... Make like a bunch of these, a bunch of those, very cool. Okay, I'm getting the hang of it, I'm getting the hang of it. It, it is pretty self-explanatory overall, um, if you've played games similar to it before. Um, so I kind of understand what's going on at least. Let's also throw all of our stuff in there. Um, okay. So I want to try and automate tech, but I don't really know how to, like what was going to be needed for lots of tech, right? Like what is this? An electrodynamic matrix. Don't underestimate plant fuel. I have not underestimated it because I have used it. That is a second um, achievement. I'm just so great at the game. I've already got two achievements in the first 30 minutes of playing. Um, I'm just trying to figure out like, so, it kind of looks like everything gets turned into these electromagnetic matrices, which is like kind of like your red pack, I would guess, kind of. It seems that way. Like if we're looking at all these, yeah. Like eventually these things will get turned into these red things. Cool, okay, so we, we know that like we have a handful of other researches, this one only actually, which unlocks that. Um, and a matrix lab. Yeah, so this is our, this is our basic research, which we want to get to, right? 
So let's activate that. And let's get out of here. Let's work on getting this finished, which shouldn't be hard. Um, we need to make um, five of these. Let's grab some iron. Wait. No, greater than or less than? What is this? Like that, right? Nice. It's kind of like at an angle there. That's kind of interesting. But okay. Nice. So we've got some iron ingots. Let's grab some copper. I need to grab some more trees and stuff here. But um, my goal is to at least get um, basic research automated by the end of this episode, I guess. Which I had literally just decided just now. Okay. It doesn't sort the inventory, which is a little bit strange. Kind of wish that it would. Oh, you can sort it. Nice. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's handy. Um, okay, so we want to... We need a bunch of belts. We have 59. That's a decent amount. Let's pull these down here. Um, I don't really know the best way to do this. We're going to pull this down here. And then do I, I don't know how I have to do this. Like, I want to... Hold up, I gotta make some of these to research this, right? So let's make, why can't I make these? What am I missing? Oh, I need, oh, oh, I see. So the iron actually goes directly to the, you don't need the iron plate first, you need, it goes directly to the magnet, interesting. Okay, so this has actually gotta not do this. This has gotta do a magnet. We need magnets here. And this, Set the filter. Uh, let's see if we can do this. Hold up, I, I think I'm gonna try and put like another belt here. How can I pick this stuff up? Can I like... Stop it. It's still making magnets. I wanna make um, some more belts and put them like on a second level. Can, can I do that? I don't know. Can I move two away? Let's see, if I go up. So if I go here, we can put, oh, that's kind of cool. So we can make like a second level belt. Dude, how can I just like get rid of this? There we go. Uh oh, core energy depleting. Core energy depleting. I need to burn some wood. I probably should get coal. That's probably the best um, thing to fuel my suit. This is gonna take forever. All right, burn that off. Let's grab some more just to be safe. And yeah, I probably should work on getting some coal here. What was that? Organic crystals. Interesting. Looks like it goes into like plastics or something. All right, but check this out. So we got like a second level, right? Now, can I delete this, please? Okay, how does this work then? Like, if I go here, right? Do I need to go like up? Angle too wide? What? Uh, how does that work? Um, I, I don't understand this, guys. <laughs> All right. I need to throw more of that in there. Okay, I want to hook this up here, but I don't understand why it says angle too wide. Okay, maybe you have to, maybe you can't export directly to a second level, so we have to do something like this. Slope to great, I would guess. So if we go minus. Endpoint must be horizontal. Okay, so you have to be able to export into a second level. Okay, let's try this over here. 
Let's try it, like, right here, right? Uh, so we move up one. I don't know. Alright, let's try this. If we have one of these guys here. It, it doesn't like it. Alright, let's, let's try putting one of these right here. I am so confused what's going on right now. It's hard to see. Okay. Angle too wide. Why is it like trying to... What, what is it trying to pull over there? I'm so confused. Um, I don't understand how this exporting thing works. Alright, let's dismantle these here. Okay. Surely you can export onto the second level, right? Or can you not? Maybe you can't. Alright, you know what? This. This is kind of weird. Maybe I'm just doing it badly. I really want to go to a second level, though. Oh, you can. Ah, you just need it. Okay. You just need to do it the right way. Got it. Okay. Cool. So, oops. Now I got to pick all this stuff up that's bad. Like all these magnets or whatever that shouldn't be there, I have to pick all those up. Is that all of them? I think that's all of them. Okay, cool. So we got magnets, we've got iron ingots. Wow, that was a bit confusing, for sure. I'll get better at the controls. Um, it'll just take a little bit. Alright, so we can make... Um, five of these. And we need five of these as well. Nice. Alright, so that'll be our research. Let's uh, come in here, throw this in here, burn that up. What was the upgrades panel? I don't know, I'll figure it out. Alright, so this is going to be for um, basic research, right? Um, nice, there we go. Okay, so we need to finish this off by doing this. We'll do, okay, so we got a storage place, that's cool. Um, we need an assembling machine. Let's make, I don't know, two of those. Or do we need three? Um, depends on what we need for this. This thing is, oh, maybe we need three. Or four. This isn't going to be pretty for sure to start off. Okay. Dude, I can't. Why, why can't you do second levels to the first? That just seems so strange to me. Alright, this is going to make. Um, gears, and then gears are going to come out right here. Okay, I want to make sure that I can get get it right. So we need we need gears to go into. Oh no, circuit boards. Is just iron and copper. This needs... Oh my gosh. We don't need gears. We need... Circuit boards. Which means we need these to come down right over here. And we need to make some more of those.
Alright, let's make a bunch of belts. And let's grab a Tesla tower, put it right here. Let's also grab some trees. All right, so we just got a bunch of um, all right. So we've got some circuits now. Now we need the electromagnets, right? So we need to grab this. I'm just going to do it really simple right now. Um, how exactly is this going to work? Okay. So these come down here. And then we need another facility doing this, right? Right here. And then we'll have... Oh, shoot. We need more of these. Make ten of them. I can grab these. Nice. Bunch of circuits. Very cool. Dude, I lo I'm, I'm loving this. This is sweet. Okay. Let's see here. So we got these. This has got to go here to here. And can we go here to here? Oh yeah, baby. Nice. And then this is going to do the electromagnets. Okay. And then we need this to come right down here. We need this to come right here with one of these. Okay, so we've got two belts here, one with the coils, one with the circuits. And then we need one, one of these right over here, I guess. Let's do that. Do that. And then we need to go here to here. Here to here. Okay. Very cool. So it looks like you cannot actually do second level to first, which was a little bit of an oversight on my part. Maybe you can with some buildings, but not with these at least. Um, okay. So this is going to be making... Wait. Let's uh, dismantle this. I think I need this perhaps to do that. This to here. Matrix lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research yeah, yeah. technologies that require them to unlock. The make super these. matrices are the source code of the center brain. There we go. Let's go. Let's upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. Okay. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Okay, that's sick. I dude, this is sweet, man. I am loving how this looks. I'm loving the gameplay. The music is nice. It's not Factorio music, but it's nice. And I made my first uh, science in 40 minutes, which I guess is kind of a long time, but I really had no idea what I was doing coming in, as uh, I think was pretty evident. Um, but yeah, we've got this thing here. And so I suppose if I do this, right, and I do like, what is this? Silicon, graphite, sure. Or what's the steel smelting? Takes iron and makes steel. Okay, let's like let's if we do this right, let's not do inventory items. Wait, what? When it is on, items will be added to the research panel first. If you switch it off, you can switch it on again. Dude, I don't want. I want this thing to do. It. Dude, isn't there a building that does the research for me so I don't have to pick it up all the time? Or do I always have to pick it up? Okay. Let's come back to the... Before we finish the episode, let's see if we can figure this out. I don't want to do this uh, um, research. Can I cancel it? Yes, okay. How can I, like... How can I not have to... Um... Splitter, Sorter Mark II. 
and a traffic monitor. Interesting. Dude, how can I, like, not have to pick up the signs all the time? Or do I always have to pick up the signs? It's a bit unclear, to be honest. Probably need a different set of power. Hmm. That's probably the best. Let's let's do this. All right, so we'll use min we'll use our inventory, and we probably should. Uh, so I guess that you have to pick it up all the time, which is a little bit triggering. Um, I was really hoping that I was really hoping that I wouldn't have to do that because um, that's a little bit annoying. But what we, looks like what we can do is we can put this down right over here, maybe, and we can just. Store it? I don't know. You built a storage, which can be used to store. Too close. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. All right. All right. Fine. Let's do this. One, two. Storage here. Sort here. And here. Right? Does that work? And I can power it up. Okay, cool. So then I can just come grab these and, uh, yeah, that'll work. Okay, sweet. You know, we definitely need more power, which is what we're going to work on next. Um,. Oh, well, maybe you can put it into different facilities. Oh. Okay, okay. So let's see, Matrix Lab is the hub. Once the research matrix. Oh, it's Matrix Lab. Can I make that? No. Maybe it's in here. I probably can't search or something, can I? Hmm. That's annoying. It's not clear. Um. Oh, can I switch the mode or something on this? Hold on, what was this? Matrix lab. Once you select matrix mo matrix mode is to produce it. The research mode is to consume the super matrices to research tech and can only research technologies that require super matrices to unlock. Once the once you select the research mode, the matrix labs will automatically research the current ongoing technology and they all share the same research progress. Okay, so I don't have to do this. Nice. I was gonna say that seems pretty weird to have to to have to do that. So I just need another lab, right? So if I do matrix lab, make one more of these bad boys. I need glass and stuff too, okay. keep saying I'm gonna be done, but man, this is just super cool. I am an infinite factory, yes. Um, okay, matrix lab right here or something, right? And a belt. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. And then we want another one of these right here to here. Come on. Does that not work? Oh, I need to power it. That would be good. Okay, so I can use the thermal power plant, which is definitely what we're going to do next. Now, can I switch this? So if I switch it, if I go to the tech tree and I research, I don't know. I don't know what we need to research next. Now let's let's research this one. Nice. Okay. Cool. So this it it does do research and it makes them. All right. That's sweet. So I don't actually have to hold it in my inventory. Okay. Cool. Well, hey, this um, you know, we're definitely gonna have to do a bunch of work on the factory, but man, this is super cool and I love the the graphics. It's gonna be interesting. Like having to deal with like all the water and stuff too like you know how do you make like a super complex factory it's going to be interesting to see how this all goes 
Um, but yeah, this is super, super sweet. Um, I'm loving the, the vibe of the game and um, you know the gameplay itself is pretty cool. Obviously, there's a lot to learn and um, it's a nice break from Factorio. So I'm really, really enjoying it. So thank you guys for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And um, you know, if you want to see more content like this, uh, just hit that subscribe button and uh, also the like on the video uh, would really help me out. I uh, very much appreciate it. And I will see you guys all on the next time that we play uh, Dyson Sphere Program.